Ladies and gentlemen, inside of this video, we are going to try out WWE on Peacock for the first time. Essentially, the new WWE Network. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video for the here. I'm sorry if I don't seem like myself. I'm trying my best to seem like myself today, but uh, I just had my, my vaccine thing yesterday, and I'm very, very tired today. I had it yesterday. Didn't really feel it yesterday. Today, I'm quite tired for some reason. Uh, but uh, anyway, we're going to try to get around that. So, uh, this was a, a send-in a a request, I guess, a fan request for a video. So, a lot of you actually asked... Hey, Brian, can you go through the process of setting up the WWE Network on Peacock and show how it works and all that stuff because we're just freaking confused. Uh, so WWE uh, said at one point that uh, your, auto, your, your, your information would automatically be transferred. So I guess try to log in with your WWE Network information if you want to do it that way. But personally, I just canceled the WWE Network and signed up to this service. I just found that to be the easiest way for me personally, uh, but uh, yeah, here was my process actually setting it up, so here we go. Okay, so here we are at my uh, at my television here, so I have a Vizio TV here, I have the Vizio like built-in internet TV thing, uh, and it actually has the Peacock app actually built into this. Now first up, I want to apologize for how bad my TV looks, I uh, like being recorded like this, I'm not entirely sure why it looks so bad. Uh, they're both 4K, my camera's 4K quality and my TV's 4K quality, maybe it has some kind of weird thing where they're just too good of quality and that picks up the pixels, I don't know, but it looks like crap on camera anyway. Uh, anyway, there's two ways you can do this, you can either actually type in your email or you can activate it on your phone. Initially, I did it via uh, the email type-in thing, but I realized that was too long, so then I switched to doing it on my phone. So when I was doing it on my phone, I did actually take some screenshots, so here it is, welcome to WWE Network Stream WrestleMania Live, just $2.50 a month, a 50% discount for unlimited time. So that is like their opening advertisement screen. Okay, so once you click the get started button on that screen, it goes to this screen, it says Peacock Premium, which confused me because it's not supposed to be premium, and then it's supposed to be $2.50 a month, and this says it's $10. And I get so, so confused, and then I start reading the fine print, and it says you actually get four months for $9.99, which comes out to $2.50 a month. So they kind of lie on the opening screen, it's you have to prepay for four months and it's two fifty a month on the prepay, but you're paying ten dollars this month for the next four months. So it's very, very weird. Something that was nice to see is you can actually pay by PayPal, which is good because you don't have to enter your long card number just to get something like this. You can just click the PayPal button and be done with it. Then once I finish paying by PayPal, it says you've got Peacock Premium. And then I'm like what in the hell are you talking about? Peacock Premium's eleven dollars per month. I signed up for the for the one I had to prepay for four months, and it evens up to two dollars and fifty cents for for per month or whatever. Why do I have premium? Why are you saying premium? Anyway, we'll see if I have premium if when I log in if I have ads or not. Anyway, we go to Peacock this this website whatever. We go to the Peacock website. We enter the code for the TV, and it automatically goes on the TV without me having to enter like my long email and my long password and all that. It's interesting, but once you type in the code. Here you go, you're inside of the Peacock app. So here we go, they have all kinds of like crazy content on here other than like wrestling, it's not just wrestling stuff, they also have like pretty much anything that like NBC has the rights to or rights to air or anything like that. It's pretty much on here, so there's like Harry Potter and Everybody Hates Chris and all kinds of like fun shows or whatever, but anyway, up here, if you go to the top, very top, they have a WWE tab, you click the WWE tab and this is the new WWE Network essentially, so they pretty much have everything I would personally watch normally on the WWE Network. I mean, every once in a while I get in a mood and I want to go back and watch like a pay-per-view from like 25 years ago or something. Uh, and they don't really have too much of that right now. They have like 18,000 things they're still trying to upload. Uh, but they do have every WrestleMania it looks like. So I guess they started with WrestleMania, so that's good. Uh, so, yeah, uh, but they do have all kinds of stuff on here. And let's actually try to play something and see how that works, even though I can't really show it for copyright reasons. Let's go ahead and do, like, SmackDown. Like, they have no recent episodes of SmackDown. The most recent one's from February. Yeah, so right now it's doing a murder mystery advertisement. Not exactly PG for the WWE PG people. So it took me a while to figure out what the, all these little, like, dots are. And originally, I thought these little dots you could, like, skip towards and it would be, like, matches and stuff. And I'm like, well, they're kind of oddly spaced. And then I realized these little dots are actually advertisements. So I did not get Peacock Premium, even though it told me I did for some odd reason. 
Uh, those are the advertisements. It really, really sucks how they don't have like more recent stuff on here, but with like NBC owning Peacock, maybe they can put Raw live on here. I don't see really an issue with that. I don't guess. I mean, that would be really, really cool. I know Fox and NBC are like rivals, so they're not gonna have their content on here. But they do have a quite a big selection already, and they still have like 18,000 more things to add. So once they add everything, hopefully everything will be okay. I just hope they have everything set up good for WrestleMania, because there's going to be a lot of people trying to watch Peacock for WrestleMania. The biggest show of the entire year, so kind of a bad time to launch, if you ask me. So yeah, that's, uh, that's WWE Network on Peacock. They're still missing a lot of stuff. Uh, I don't like how they don't have the little dots showing you what matches are where on the pay-per-view. I don't like how it doesn't have the button saying, uh, next match, and you hit that button. I don't like that. I don't like all the advertisements, but I guess I can't really complain for the price. Uh, so, yeah, it sucks. And then there's, like, a really confusion with, uh, with Peacock and the service and signing up and all. You gotta really watch what you're signing up for. Because they're, they're very, like, slimy with the way they're, they're sign, like, signing you up for. The way I did, I'm like, wait, wait, I thought I was signing up for two fifty a month, not $10.00. But you prepay for four months and it's like, what? What are you doing? That's so stupid. Just tell me four months for ten dollars. Don't tell me two fifty a month when I'm not actually paying two fifty a month. I'm paying ten dollars this month for the next four months. So it's kind of like a marketing scheme there. Uh, but overall, it seems to be okay. They have a few bucks to work out. Now this, the only thing I used on it was the on-demand stuff. I did not do any live because there's not live wrestling happening right now. Uh, but I heard like this past Sunday, uh, like I use the WWE Network, the old WWE Network. A lot of people use Peacock and they said they had issues with it. Personally, I had no issues with the old WWE Network, but I've never tried to stream a live wrestling show on Peacock. So hopefully they will get everything set up for WrestleMania because they're going to have a big like influx of like viewers for WrestleMania compared to a normal wrestling pay-per-view. So they're really going to have to get their stuff together for WrestleMania. So hopefully that goes okay. I won't be watching WrestleMania on demand because I'm actually going to WrestleMania live. Uh, but I guess I will for the next pay-per-view and I guess some stuff for WrestleMania week I'll be watching on there like Hall of Fame and stuff I would imagine. Uh, so it's, a, it's an interesting service. It's a brand new service. It's a little buggy. Uh, we have to remember how bad WWE Network was like its first week when it launched. It was quite bad. This is literally just like the first, you know, few weeks that the site has launched. So I'm gonna give them a give them a chance. I mean, it's the first first time WWE's launched on it. Peacock's been around for a little while, I guess. But I like how I can use it on my Vizio TV now. I don't have to like stream WWE Network through my phone to my TV and actually just use the TV interface. So that's a nice thing. Uh, but overall, uh, I'm still kind of in the middle. I kind of don't like it. I don't like change. Uh, and at the same time, it's like, uh, well, may maybe this will be better off since they'll actually have like a team of people managing the stuff uh, and WWE won't have to do it anymore. They actually have NBC to do it for them. So maybe it'll be better in the long run. But as of right now, it's not better than the old network, but I heard they're working to bring out new features. So I'm just waiting on those. But yeah, guys, that's basically going to do it for this My Experience video, trying out WWE Network on Peacock for the first time. Uh, right now on the screen, I'm actually going to leave a link to two previous videos for you guys to check out, as well as a button to subscribe to this channel if you're brand new here. But thank you guys for watching this video. I am Brandon Hodge, and I will see you guys in the next video.